Hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow traders. This is Dowsto from CyberTrain University. Just want to do another round of teaching and educating all of you regarding how to spot iceberg orders, uh, what we do here at CyberTrain University. And we are showcasing and showing you again the book viewer, which is right here on the left-hand side. We like to call it the level three screen, which is where you get to see where are the institutions, all the dominating uh, market makers, you know, hiding and putting their orders in something called an ECN. Um, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll see a couple of alerts, and uh, we'll, I, I talk about what are ECNs, but I want to kind of showcase uh, what we're looking at right here and trying to educate everybody to show how we use these tools and, and why they're so important and why a lot of you are trading blind. And I want to point out Microsoft because Microsoft, you could see, um, we're looking at two over here on the right. We have two charts. We have a one-minute chart, and we have a one-day chart, and what really... Uh, stands out here. If you look at the intraday chart, if you're up on top, you'll notice that there is a big, big support levels right around here. The stock has been hovering here from 10 o'clock up until 1030, up until you know 1044 in the morning, and then even right now up until 330. And you're trying to figure out like, why is this stock having a tough time going past 164? It had, every time it hits it, it goes back to 165, comes back to 164, goes back to 165. Then it went all the way up to 166, and then it came back down. But why 164? Well, it's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Buyers. What makes support levels on a chart are buyers. Unfortunately, you can't see the buyers on the chart. That is what happened in the past. The only way to see, and that is what's indicative of the future, is seeing the orders that are out there. And that's why we're looking at the NASDAQ book viewer. And if you look over here, remember, as the stock is trending down, you're looking for buyers. And the buyers are right here on the buy side, over here on the left. And we got three columns. You got orders, shares, and bids. There is a order at every single penny. 100 shares looking to be bought at 164.39, 1,400, as you're working way down. But you'll notice, out of all those orders, you got to work all the way down to finding where the next predominant order is. And if you look right here, you don't see anything unless I scroll down and then voila, you have 297 orders out there that make up 21,596 shares at 164. Now, listen, if you look over here going back, you got orders 100 shares. You got one order, three orders, four orders, you know, two orders. But when you work your way down, this is like almost like black and white. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, fellow traders, explains why the stock is having a tough time breaking 164. So to answer your question, now when you're looking at a support and resistance levels and you're trying to figure out, is it going to go past it? Will it break it? Or will it be a support? Well, Ask yourself, did you go see who's out there buying it with you? Because when I was trained being a market maker, I was always taught that it didn't matter what Fausto thought. It matters what they thought. Okay, you're not trading 21,000 shares of $164 stock, making up over two, uh, 299 different people out there that are making up that order. So the thing is, if you want to know how to trade the market, you first got to learn how to follow the market. You want to learn how to follow the market? You follow the money. So to find more videos like this, ladies and gentlemen, just click on the like on the bottom if you like this video and just click subscribe and I'll be sending more videos and more alerts to see more what we call here at CyberTrain University iceberg orders, which are big block orders. So you can identify these orders so you can help you in today's market conditions. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you on my upcoming videos.